In this lesson, we'll take a look at three optimization problems. Those are problems that we can solve using the calculus when we're trying to find a, find a best solution for something, uh, like to maximize the amount of money you get or minimize your costs. In this case, we're trying to maximize the amount of area. And this, in this question, we have this farmer. She has a thousand meters of fence to uh, enclose a rectangular pen for her cows. And one of the sides is already fenced in. So she's only actually fencing these three sides, the dashed sides, the red ones. Now, let's start by labeling these two dimensions W, so W for width. Now, um, since we have a thousand altogether, this side would be a thousand minus what we use for the two widths. So the length here would be a thousand minus two W. Now remember, we're, um, we're finding the area of a rectangle. We're actually trying to find the rectangle with the largest possible um, area. So area of a rectangle is length times width. So I'm going to make a substitution and substitute this in place of L, 1000 minus 2W. And then I'll get an area function that's written in terms of W only. And so we're, we have a restriction here. In the last sentence it says, what should the enclosure's dimensions be if no side can be less than 100 meters? So the width has to be greater than or equal to 100. Now there's an upper width as well, a largest possible width as well, and the largest possible width would come when the length is as small as possible. So if this side was 100, we'd have 900 for these two W's combined. So if, if the length's 100, the two W's would be 900, so 100 plus 900, that's 1,000. So dividing by two, the largest possible width is 450. So if we had 450 here and 450 here, that's 900 plus the 100 over here, that side's the smallest possible now, would make the 1,000. So altogether, the restrictions on W is W has to be greater than or equal to 100, but less than or equal to 450 meters. So that's the interval upon which we're trying to find the maximum value of the area. So we'll find that by differentiating uh, the derivative of 1,000, w is 1,000. Uh, using the power rule, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, so that's minus 4w. And we'll set that equal to 0. And we'll solve for w. So we solve for w, we get 4w equals 1,000. So dividing out the 4, we get w is 250 meters. So that's a possible extreme of point. So let's find the area for 100 the area for 250, and the area for 450. And these will be the three calculations. So of course the 250 is the um, extrema point, the 100 and the 450 are the endpoints of the interval upon which we're searching. So we evaluate those. Now we can see that the 125,000 square meters is certainly the largest of the three. So the extrema point here uh, is certainly the, the maximum value for the area. So that means that the width is 250. Now if we look over here, so if this is 250 and this is 250, that's 500 altogether. So then this side would have to be 500 here. So it's actually twice as long as it is wide. So 250 and 250 is 500, so we need 500 here. So that's the length. So then we can, air, we can uh, answer the maximum area of 125,000 square meters occurs when the lot is constructed 500 meters long and 250 meters wide. 